Good evening. So, I hope you guys are well. Just going to let a couple people in the room before we get going. Um, hope we're having a lovely day today, guys. Uh, cool. Just give me a second as I just let some people pile in. Um, cool. How's it going? How's it going? Um, just letting a couple more people in the room. How's it going, Jason? Cool. All right. Um, All right, let's go. Um, all right, let's get into it, man. I think we've got enough people. Hope you guys are well. Um, so today, guys, obviously, I would have messaged all of you about today's talk. Uh, literally, we'll keep it nice and short, and then we'll uh, open the floor for some Q&A for those of you that uh, want to actually do that. Um, and if you've got questions along the way as well, please feel free to ask. And I will um, I will leave a link in the chat uh, for those of you that would rather have more of a personal chat about some of the things I'm going to discuss today. So, you know, feel free to drop in the chat here. But for those of you that, you know, you work an office based job or even if you're working from home and if you've got kids as well, because that plays a big part. Like how many how many. Uh, how many hours of sleep would you say you're getting right now? Uh, just quickly, I'll, I'll give you five minutes or not five minutes, maybe five seconds, just to quickly pop in a quick one. I'll tell you mine right now. Um, currently sitting at about six hours per night, um, which is a good is a good enough kind of range for me at the moment. Which is obviously exactly what I need to kind of get me to where I need to get to, man. It's It's important for me to to have that level of, of sleep. Cool. So I'm seeing different numbers in there. Fours and fives. Cool. So I won't bore you with too much, but like, this is what the data tells us. And as we go through this, I'll explain to you why this is important, especially if you want to make improvements to the gym, you want to have more muscle, you want to get stronger, you want to look better. Because if you don't do these things, it doesn't matter how hard you train. If you sleep poorly, your body's not going to build any muscle. It's not going to look any better. So from all the data out there, um, and I've obviously ex ex uh, I've obviously uh, screenshotted some of the information that we got. Our teenage kids and some of the young youngsters they need they need about nine to eleven hours, and obviously kids grow at a faster rate than human beings. Um, teenagers fourteen to seventeen they actually need about eight to ten. As you get a bit older, anywhere from seven to nine is good enough to keep you going. So you got to think about this now. If you're falling below this number right here, the chance of you getting those gains that you desire is just very, very low, uh, unfortunately. So I want you to bear that in mind. I want you to really think about that as you, you try your best to, to get in amazing shape. Um, obviously, these are just recommendations. This is not set in stone. Just because you're not getting those numbers doesn't mean you know, you're not going to build muscle. Like, I don't actually sleep seven hours i sleep about six hours each night to be honest and that is good enough for me that's what gets me going um some of you may need more some of you may need less so you know the questions you have to ask yourself are, are you productive and are you healthy and happy on six or five hours of sleep have you noticed that you require more sleep to, to get through the day or if you are getting six or five hours of sleep do you find yourself falling asleep at lunchtime that lunchtime slump if you're getting that, that probably means you need a bit more, a bit more sleep. You know, are you at risk of any other diseases? You know, because if you're overweight, obviously you're more at risk to more metabolic diseases. Do you have, do you have a high level of daily en energy expenditure? So, are you working out? Do you, do you have a labor-intensive job? Are you playing sports with your friends every day or every week? Do you drive? Do you operate heavy machinery? Again, this is also really critical when it comes to uh, the amount of sleep that you're getting. Do you have actual sleeping problems? Are you re relying on caffeine to get through the day, coffee? And, you know, when you have an open schedule, do you sleep 
more than you do on a typical day. These are all signs that maybe you're not getting enough sleep, you know? And it, you may need to look at your schedule and, and think about how can I redesign my life to make sure that I'm getting enough sleep so I can be optimal on a day-to-day basis because a lot of you are not optimizing your energy and you're not performing at the highest level that you could do because you're not taking care of the small little details. Um, and it's unfortunate, but sometimes life puts us in that position, right? Work, family, blah, blah, blah. So again, I screenshotted another study here, but we know that short sleep and weight gain are tied into each other. Poor sleep affects the body, increases the chance of disease, doesn't allow you to recover. Poor cognitive function. So you, you make poorer decisions throughout the day. You operate at a lower level than what you could do. It affects your nutrition due to unregulated hormones and obviously levels of stress and immune system all affected by sleep. So people don't realize it, but poor sleep literally can ruin literally every other area of your life if you're not getting it right. So it really is critical that you do your best to make sure that you're getting that getting that 100% right as much as possible, especially if you want to be, from a physical standpoint and a mental standpoint, at your very best and your sharpest. The truth is, sleep is critical to for better performance, but I'm talking to you from a gym perspective, but let's think about your life in work. Does someone who sleeps more, are, are they going to be more effective when it comes to, I don't know, making a cell, if you work in cells? If you've got more energy, are you not going to be able to transmit that energy on a sales call? If you're doing presentations and meetings, who has more energy? Someone who slept three hours or someone who slept eight hours and they've got a pep in their step? Um, also, from just a health perspective, it allows you to rest your heart and your cells to, so that your cells can regenerate and repair. Every day that we're up, we're, we're damaging our cells, we're damaging our, our, our body and in a gym too. So if you don't sleep, you don't get your body, you don't give your body the opportunity to regenerate. It is literally your charging battery. Um, and if you are a gym goer, obviously it's going to improve your athletic ability because you know, you're going to be dealing with less stress, better hormone regulation. You won't be as hungry as well because lack of sleep plays a role in your hunger hormones. And if you're not getting enough sleep, you get more hungry and guess what happens? Just take a guess. You start eating very poorly throughout the day. You have all these sugar cravings and you can't perform at your very best. So let's look at some practical things. And I'd love to know, uh, put it in a chat. Thank you, James. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, it's hard to sleep with the kids. I, I agree. Um, it, it does come down to creating a schedule with the kids and maybe the missus to, to put something in place that supports both of you. Um, but you have to control your sleep environment. And these are the recommendations from the National Sleep Foundation. And these are some things that I've also put in here that I think you could start just putting in place. One of the biggest things is just to give up caffeine after about 4 or 5 p.m. I would really advise that. Um, stick to the same pattern because you may notice that you kind of fall asleep at the same time every night. So try your best to stick to that. Keep the room cool. I sleep with windows open. Some people, you know, you have a fan or whatever it may be. I would use that as best as possible. Um, stay away from electro electronics. So I, I'm a I'm I'm probably the worst at this. I do watch the TV uh, when I'm in bed, uh, but I end up falling asleep to the TV, and I get to bed early enough to be able to kind of enjoy it. I guess another thing is try not to eat food too late because if you eat too late, your body's digesting the food. Your body needs to use energy and blood and your system is actually going towards your stomach to help digest food. So it's difficult to sleep when that is going on inside your body. You want to avoid any highly stressful situations before bed. If you and the missus have got an argument or something like that, try your best to just avoid having that happen because, you know, your mind's going to be going at 100 miles per hour. You're going to be busy. You're not going to be able to concentrate and focus on trying to get to sleep, which is actually a, a, can be a task within itself. Obviously, reading, meditation... Um, and and obviously, I think this is probably probably the most underrated part of this is keeping your bed clean, um, having having good pillows and a good quality mattress really does help. Cleanliness is next to godliness, they say. And if your bed is not clean, you're not going to want to sleep in it. It's not going to be very. It's it's not going to be a, a good sleeping experience. So make sure you're changing your bed sheets regularly, washing your pillows. Um, cleaning your mattress, doing all those things are going to help help make that sleep experience a lot better and a lot easier. So 
those are some simple things. And by the way, guys, if you are struggling with your sleep and your performance in the gym, feel free to kind of drop me a message and we can talk about some some ways that we can, you know, fit it in your training and improve your current situation. Um, any questions? Any questions before we, we crack on? So that, that is kind of the formal the formal side of this. So if you do have any questions, I'm, I'm going to leave the, the link to book a one-to-one call with me in the chat. So feel free to... Uh, feel free to book a strategy session with me or my team because what we will do is kind of go through go through this in a way that kind of shows you it kind of shows you exactly what you need to do to to maximize your sleep and get in better shape over the next six months or so because you know we've got christmas coming i know a lot of you guys want to want to get in shape for christmas i know i want to make sure that when by the time we get to christmas i'm in top tip shape so any questions? Any questions? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. I'm going to start picking names. All right, Justin. So I would say that when, when it comes to getting in shape, the the real key is, is not just going to be... It's not just going to be, you know, how much you're training. That plays a big role, of course, but I think what plays an even bigger role is what you're doing outside of just that gym workout, if that makes sense. So, you know, like, what are you doing when, what are you doing when you're not training? How's your food? You know, how's your sleep? Like we talked, like we spoke about today. Are you taking supplements? Are you managing all the other areas? Because I think once you can get get to that level, you know, things become a lot easier for you physically. So my advice is just purely based around that and just maximizing that side of your training as much as possible. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you're saying that, you know, you're not quite seeing the, the physical results that you desire, please just hit that link that I just put in the chat. Uh, I think you might find that useful and, you know, put it to use, man. Um, all right guys well if there is a, if there aren't any questions um i'm gonna make sure to send out um a fat uh not, not, not a fat guide a sleep guide uh it's my ultimate guide to sleep um and i will send the replay of this as well so uh thank you for jumping on have a wonderful day guys let's go